What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the OD here. Welcome you back to another episode of Saga Log. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful day. I am, of course, as always, nervous as heck, but it's fine. It's episode 280, y'all. I cannot believe we're at episode 280 already. It's like, what in the world is 280? 280 episodes, guys. You guys have officially been able to kill 60-plus Pokemon already. Absolutely ridiculous. So... What are we doing today? Well, being more stressed. Stressed as ever. Uh, but we gotta go talk to these guys because I didn't sell off screen like a silly willy peely goat. Um, it's fine, guys. Definitely didn't forget simple things at all. Because me remember forgetting simple things? What? How could I? But. No, I gotta sell all of these pointless items that do literally nothing for us so that we can get prepared for our lovely, um, what's it called? Our lovely, uh, do, 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 do. I don't need that. Okay, our lovely, oh, I've had a rare candy this whole time, just never used it. These I don't think they can sell. Oh, it's $10 to sell the pointless things. Eh, I might as well. Um, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, they're only 2500 Oh, they lowered the price on these. That's sad. Probably because they, like, upped so many other thing, other prices of things that they were like, no, guys, we don't, don't need this. Also, are these mushrooms cooking materials or something? I don't remember. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we're, we need the money. We need to be able to, I don't know, get somewhere. Um... Yeah, you should have four stores on deck. Oh, no, you don't. You have the... You have quick balls. Oh, my gosh. Someone's like, I could buy from you, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm here to buy some full restores, everybody, because we need them. Oh, that's antidotes. Full restores, everybody, because we need them. Um, the fact that we need them now is, I think, crazier than ever. I'm going to buy 60 because I know there is more to come. Um... Like, this is not the end-all be-all, so I need to be careful not to overspend, because we're in the semi-finals. Semi-finals does not mean finals. They're two completely different things. So, this is... We're getting close to the end of this series, um, both the series and this portion of the series. So, with Scarlet and Violet, I'm like... I'm freaked out because it's like, whoa, why, how are we doing Scarlet and Violet so soon? And then after Scarlet and Violet, even like, and if there is, I mean, Scarlet and Violet might have to be unrandomized. And I'm like, that, that scares me because I feel like that kind of almost pseudo breaks principle. And I don't know what to do about that. Like, because I don't want to break the principle, right? That's not, that's the point of the series is it's a randomized series with the randomized gameplay and everything. But like, if I if I can't randomize the game, then then what? Um, like, what do I do? Because I obviously will want to carry over the three Pokemon, but then they'll be overpowered. There's so many question marks that I'm like, dog, I don't know. Um, but I gotta remember that, I gotta think about it. Because I mean, with the break between Sword and Shield took so long, simply because of figuring out the randomization process the randomization process again for scarlet and violet is so different it's like similar but different so because certain apps and applications don't have the capabilities and the functions of it and i'm like oh boy oh our first fights with marnie I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know there's been a lot between us, but with my big brother and Team Yell help and Spike Muth and all that. But the truth is, what is all said and done, I really want to become the champion for myself. So don't take it personal, but I want to kick your butt. Okay, well, you have provided more of a challenge than Hop has, so fighting you first does not sound fun. It really doesn't. I would much rather be fighting Hal for or Hop first. 
Especially because you led with a man buzz. Great. Love it. Yes. Leading with a mon that actually does damage to me. Yes. Good job, girl. Go for it. Ugh. Why? Also, excuse me? I didn't go heal. Huh. I don't like that. I did that, but I did. Okay. I mean, to be fair, my option for this thing is fully healed, at least. I gotta take that as a positive. But I don't want to kill it right now because I don't have my options. I've got to kind of stall for time here. Yay is important to have. Doesn't that lower my attack or lower something? It doesn't. I just got to stall for time. I don't like it, but I got to get myself situated. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness we have Katie Girl because, oh boy, that could have been a lot worse. Um, not necessarily as worried about healing Spoopy. No, Spoopy can't self-heal. I'm healing Spoopy. Like, we're not doing anything to combat me. So here's where I just gotta go for it. Go for Gusto. If I have to heal Katie Girl, I will. But I should be able to Oko. I don't see why I wouldn't. I mean, it is defensive though, so I might not. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'm gonna play rough as it's, because it's brutal swinging. It's not attacking me um, in a manner of... Um... um like, flying. There we go. It's not attacking me with a flying move, so I might as well just... Again, playing it safe is going to be kind of my MO for this. I don't want to lose anything, and so playing it safe is the best case scenario. Ferrothorn. I love how I have a perfect situation for you. But I'm going to continue the, the play it safe mantra here and go into yay. The fact that I turned into a fairy type is the result of that. Swap. I'm going to go with Heat Wave, obviously. That's the obvious answer. Because that should Oko. It's a fair thorn. If it doesn't Oko, I'll be shocked. Cool. I mean, when you, when you have a quad weakness, it makes it so easy to exploit. Which is kind of the point of quad weaknesses. But... I say that because I have a couple. Verizion. Hey, another quad weakness. Um, although, the only problem is, is we can't exploit this one. Which is rough. Because we don't have a flying mon. Which is uh, abnormal for us. Very highly abnormal. Um, hmm. I'm gonna... I am gonna swap. I'm gonna take this opportunity to swap into Spoopy. Because... I have poison and I dual resist the stabs. Dual resisting is so nice. It's huge. Being able to know that if you get attacked by a move, it's going to be primarily this type. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to fire off a. I'm actually going to fire off a toxic because I don't think cross poison will Oko regardless of anything. So firing off a toxic is probably better. Obviously, Toxic's going to get blocked, but I'm more happy I didn't waste a Cross Poison. Okay, now I'll just see. I'll see if my, I was right. That is going to be the real question. Was I right? I was. Also, Spoopy has Cross Poison and uh, Cross Poison. So, yes, this man literally has 50% chance to crits. 
And yes, he literally failed, but it's fine. It's whatever. It's chill. It's d definitely not triggering whatsoever that he missed the chance at critting. But actually, is it a 50% chance? I think it is past Gen 6. Let me do, can double check. Oh, I forgot about that. Gen, or critic, critical hits Pokemon. That's not what I asked. Critical hits Pokemon. That's IGN. Why Why would you give me IGN? IGN is not what I asked about, but okay. Also, what? What? That's not even correct information. Oh my god. Google, you fail. You failed me, buddy. Also, I knew not to cross poison, and I still did it anyway. I'm trying to figure out critical hit situations, guys. I want to make sure that my stuff is accurate. But of course... It doesn't want to listen to me. Also, watch. That was a crit. Yep. It's got to be. I think it's 50%. But I'm double checking. Uh, generation 2 onwards. That's not correct. Again, probability. Generation 7 onwards. Plus 2 is 50%. Um, so, I was right. We are. Yeah. So, Spoopy has a 50% chance to crit. Literally every single turn. And cannot get crit himself. So, like, yeah, of course. I, worst case scenario is 25%, but still. Um, <sighs> whale about. Why I was debating about that is silly, but whale about is the answer to that. The thing about this kill that you guys are going to do, right? Is that I feel like all the mons are viable some way, somehow. Which. Thanks for giving me more stuff. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, but that is the thing about this kill. Is that there is so many options and directions and ways and things that you guys can take it. And that's what's scary. Because it literally could mean anything anything is on the table right now and anything being on the table is rather scary i'm gonna stay in actually well about can handle him with his own it was galvantula was faster than either pokemon they do dynamax though their final pokemon gotta remember excuse me electric surge no <laughs> we don't set that up that is not Oh, loud. That is absolute. And Quiver Dance. Oh my gosh. Okay, Galvantula. Let's 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 let let's just not, nah, buddy. That's not even gonna do anything. Did half. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna get hit with something though. Oh, you're Quiver. Uh. Are you quiver dancing because you don't have anything to hit me? Or are you quiver dancing to prepare to hit me hard? Um, I don't have protect or anything of that nature. So I'm just going to ancient power and see what happens. Hope to get an omni boost. Okay. I think it was quiver dancing because I had nothing to hit me. That makes the most sense there. Because, like, why would you not attack unless you can't attack? No Omni Boost? That's fine. Naganadel. I'm going to swap. I think. What's the attack stats? 129 in comparison to 123. Ooh. I'm again, it's another situation where I'm slower regardless. It's best to go with it's best to go with whale about. Oh fuck, it's gonna be a Dynamax Nagonadel. 
I forgot about that part about it. This is a Dynamax Naganadel. Uh huh. Yeah, um, I might have forgot that Dynamax Zig was part of this situation. And that's a Naganadel. Um, they can't get poisoned or have any problems with poison and has dragon moves and has poison moves and has like a lot of things that can destroy the crap out of me. Oh god. With the electric surge on the field uh, immediately. <laughs> uh huh. Oh boy. This is like our first actual true Dynamax challenge. Oh. Bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantamax my Pokemon. Oh boy. We're a lot, we have a lot more HP. We're slower. Oh my gosh, normal. Wow. You could have been a threat. You really could have been a threat. You, you chose normal? You could have been a... Uh, you could have maxed... Uh, what the fudge? You could have used Max Wormwind, hit me hard, dropped my attack so that I couldn't kill you next turn, but in instead you lowered my speed? The thing that Wishcash is literally worst at? I don't even know. I, I, I genuinely don't even know. I don't even know what I can say to that. Max Strike? That's really what you're choosing? Out of literally anything? Out of anything that you could do? You've had the biggest threat of a Dynamax. And have done and have done and did nothing with that at all. I'm almost triggered. <laughs> it's I know it's dumb because I made it through and it was like cool, everything's fine. There's no, there's no shot that you have no stab moves. There is no shot. Yeah, I mean, even, even if it was max ooze, that ups your special attack. That makes you more threatening. I get that it's resisted, right? I, 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 and I, I get that. But, uh, lowering my attack. Raising your own special attack are both better options than lowering my speed that's literally pointless. Like, girl. You had a threatening mon. It's not your mons. <laughs> Again. Oh. And that's kind of what's... That's almost something that scares me. Is you just see a massive dip in how the AI decides to operate. And I'm like... What? Like, what is this AI? It's weird. John, are you ready to battle me? I've been waiting for you in the final match already. Uh, after seeing the way you battle, I can accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Who did you even beat? Like, canonically, I want to know. Who did you even beat? Also, double checking to make sure I'm... Pardon the interruption. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended very quickly. Way quickly, quicker than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily. So as soon as you're ready, we'd like you back on the pitch. Well, first, let me make sure that my Pokemon are healed. Cool. We're back to fully healed. So then I'm ready. If we're back to fully healed, I'm ready. I'll, I'm going to go in there now. And this is considered the finals, so that works. 
Maybe Hop will not screw the pooch on his Dynamax. I that that upsets me. That really I don't. It shouldn't because again I won. But I I, I what a challenge of some form. Hmm. I remember when we got our Pokemon from Lee that day. I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here facing you in front of all the of all people. Oh, that was an insult. Love you. Love you too. But it's time I finish what I started that day. Got it. The one who will become champion is me. Oh yeah, look at his music. Okay, what are you leading with? What are you, are you gonna do any better? Golisopod. Okay, good start. We battled back in the garden, but I'm really fired up for this match in this very stadium. Okay. I don't like this start though. Glyzapod is a toughie. I asked for a challenge and I'm getting it though, so that I appreciate at least. Um You know what? I remember Glycopod using Whirlpool and Bug Bite. I'm gonna see what he wants to do. Hopefully bug bite or uh, attack me with a physical water move. So he's not going to do that. Hmm. Well, about an option. Not really, though. Hmm. Bug and water is a very good type combination. I am gonna go. I am gonna go ahead and trust myself and go whale about here again because whale about has cute charm. How is male? Trust. I'm trusting my gut. My gut says to do this. And if it whirlpools and traps me in, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. Again, I trusted myself and it paid off. Again, I think that also might be part of what's causing me to be like, I want a challenge. I want this. I want that. The challenge wasn't necessarily the game. The challenge was to get out of my own head. And now that I'm a lot more out of my own head, I'm busting through things like this because I'm making snappy, quick judgment decisions. That could very well be it too. I don't think Wellabout's gonna get the boosties, but It'd be cool. Just because Whaleabout is one of those that could actually sit in. Katie wants to learn Power Gem. Katie's not going to learn Power Gem. I'm sorry, Katie. No. Spoopy. Fruition. Machamp. Aromatis. That's fine. That is okay. Spoopy is so high leveled. I kind of want to put Spoopy in the back, or not in the back, but like to put Spoopy away so that Spoopy doesn't gain more levels, but it's like, I can't. And it's unfortunate, but all I know is that I'm okay with Cross Poison, and that's good enough for me.
Ho-Ho. Well, you know what? I'm okay with you having a Ho-Ho as long as you don't do be stupid with it like freaking out uh, whatever his name is, Bead was. As long as you're not as dumb as Bead was with it, we're okay. The only problem is we actually have something for it now. So whereas it had the potential beforehand, I have a quad effective move. Okay, using it as setup is not a bad idea. I don't fault the idea. Especially knowing that you're going to be O-code, might as well set up for the future. I kind of hope you have, like, a, not, not a Swampert, but, like... I mean, a Pokemon, a Swampert-like Pokemon would be cool. We really did that for a lot. Dude. Hop. Life Heart's already fast. Life Heart is already fast. Uh, my guy. Why? Did you just... What else do you have? Heliolisk is also already fast. Uh, dude, this dude set up Tailwind and freaking sent in two of the fastest mons. Oh my god. This is the episode of John is just saddened by all the generations. Ugh. Like, of all things to do. Uh, like, I mean, uh, hopefully your Dynamax is good. I almost hit the button on accident. That would have been funny. I hopefully your Dynamax is. Oh my god. I am dying on the inside. Like... Like, what is... Cherim's also fast. It's not super fast, but it's fast enough. I'm just gonna send in Spoopy, because Spoopy has most of its... Yeah... I think you got me backed into a corner. No way. Let me send out my Dynamax Pokemon. Oh my gosh. This is a 2 hit KO as well. This is a straight easy 2 hit KO. Release all the thoughts poured into my wishing star. Time to Dynamax. What the heck? Max, oh, look at that. Almost like a self-proc buffing move. What a good move to use on a Dynamax Pokemon. I can't believe it. Although you literally set up the Tailwind so you don't need the positive freaking sp speed. Great, so good. I love the fact that you did that. Wow. Good job for making a smart play. Except for the fact it doesn't matter. Because I can't get crit. Wow. Congratulations. You rose your speed again. But instead you died. You can't get crit because you're a Dynamax Pokemon. <laughs> But you still got to it KO'd because your Dynamax Pokemon is Cherim. 
Wow. Congratulations, buddy. You did so good. John, thanks, man. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. Wait, that is official. We have not... We, we did not lose a Pokemon to Hop. We 6 0 to Hop every single time we faced him. We do not face Hop ever again. I think that actually means he is the only rival not to kill a Pokemon. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger won their way through all the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenges, Challenger John. You know, even Sonia was saying that you and me look like we could become heroes. I really never felt like one, but you, mate, I really think you could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, you and Machamp, all the rest of your team. Machamp didn't even do anything. Machamp literally sat in the back and just chilled. <laughs> You and your awesome Machamp that did nothing this entire semi-finals. John, that was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together at the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived at this point to throw everything you had at one another. The burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling at the very purest, even in the possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were able to fit to be endorsed to the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will be giving everything that we got to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might as well end up being you, John. In fact, that is precisely what I'm hoping for. That's right, John. The real challenge is what's coming next. And, I complete, and I'm completely exhausted. I want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill energy first. Why don't you get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but you never came at all. F care at all what food tastes, Lee. A night like this deserves more of like, more than rubbish takeaway, or some, uh, or at least pick something good. <sighs> Challenger John, Challenger John, hey, D got time for some questions? First question, you and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making you two rivals in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel that you defeated your rival? Doesn't... Doesn't feel quite real yet. Right, question two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what it would be? You're absolutely garbage, and uh, you're the only person that did nothing, but... Oh, that's a backhanded compliment. Oh, I want to do that just because I'm the... <laughs> it's, he deserves it. Question three. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? I am not sure, but I'll do everything that I can. All right, that's enough. John's already tired from the battle, and you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, wouldn't you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Whew, famous people sure have a rough, huh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own armor right about now. Several hours later. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised he'd become champion one day, and he did just that. Our, he ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Kids sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during, if you were that noisy during a battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know. Oh, pack it in, peers. I'm seriously worried here. I hope so. I, 
don't need your smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder why you lost you, mate. Even if you're looking at for the if you're looking for the champion, I saw him headed towards Rhodes Tower. Don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the mon monorail platform. He said that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late for your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could it have? What could he have to do there at this hour? Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither John nor I know the way. Sheesh. What rude siblings. Always so demanding of others. Uh, though I suppose it's a real problem for me, too, if the vinyls are held up for any reason. And I don't really hate the two of your little runts. So, you were good enough to beat me after all. So, I think I'll invite Team Yell along, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant! You're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. Yeah. So, in the next episode, we'll be taking care of that and figuring out what the heck is going on in Rose Tower. Because this is not over. But first, before we enter into Rose Tower, you guys get to kill the Pokemon. Good luck. And um, yeah, whatever you guys kill pretty much determines what I add. So this is a straight across, what are you going to do kind of situation. You have, from the time that this video goes out, I'm sorry to say, but a solid like 12 hours. So, or not 12, 14 hours. So, choose wisely. Love you all. And we'll see you guys soon. Oh, I didn't hit the... I tried to do it with the bead drop. I love you guys. <laughs>